It has been rough waiting for the bazaar to drop. There has been so little content, it has been so dry that even we have run out of things to talk about. But what if I told you that could all be ending soon? And what if I told you that you could be the one to make it happen? Someone out there doesn't know it yet, but they, or maybe you, could be the one to bring us the bizarre beta. In a series of job adverts posted by Tempo, they have specifically asked that the new person for the role be ready to launch the closed beta of the game. But what does that actually mean? So why are we all excited? What has spurred the community that was pronounced all but dead just a few weeks ago back into action? Some solid sleuthing from our Discord server is why, which as always is linked down below and remains the only place to get bizarre news while the official bizarre channels are completely silent. So go join down there. Iberius posted a cryptic message in the main Discord server, which included a quote from somewhere. Tempo Game Studio. We are a new startup game studio with an incredible game that is ready for closed beta. Zip Recruiter, Lenza, Talent, etc. days ago. Swampsy was online and ready to do some digging. Churned up a junior game designer job at first, but there was no luck there. That job, bit of a dead end. But then, struck gold. This is where he found a job advert for a senior producer in Seattle to join the Tempo team. Exciting in and of itself, a producer joining the team might suggest they're getting closer to a live service setting, i.e. the game being released, but this was the source of that line from Tiberius. Who we are, Tempo Game Studio. We are a startup game studio with an incredible game that is ready for closed beta. In a official job advert, from Tempo Game Studio, looking for a new senior producer. And we've seen this line in more job adverts as we dug even deeper. But what exactly does this mean? I don't want to get your hopes up too early. I doubt this means that we're getting the beta tomorrow. This is partly because of how we found the information. These are job adverts. They are recruiting to launch the beta. So currently, they can't because they need these people, these many job adverts that we found, to be filled in order to launch that beta, support that beta, and get it out to us. So at the very least, they've got to go through this recruiting process first, which can take anywhere between a couple of weeks to a couple of months. Hopefully more of the former. We would also expect some sort of ramp in marketing as we get closer to the closed beta. Now, this depends on entirely what the closed beta is. If there is a huge NDA on it, then sure, the closed beta probably won't have a lot of marketing. But that closed beta, if we believe everything Raynard told us ages ago, shouldn't be very long. Which means they'll then want the open beta if there's going to be, and then launch thereafter. Which means the marketing for those things needs to start sooner rather than later if we're going straight into a closed beta. Now, one thing that could be happening here is that this is just a way of getting the people they're recruiting prepared to be jumping straight into a game that's nearly finished, and that the closed beta is actually the friends and family beta that we last heard from a while ago wasn't going on, or at least wasn't cast wide enough to include some of the popular personalities we were able to get some fragment of an answer from. Not going to include their names here, but just the type of people you would expect to be in Raynad's closed friends and family beta. That all being said, that all suggesting that the closed beta, or at least the beta that you and I will be able to play in, isn't going to be coming for a little while, it can't be far away. This is much, much further along than we last heard. Raynad said he didn't want people to see the unfinished product. The last time we saw it, we had very, very limited VFX, no Mac at all, no Dooley, we've even heard that jewels have been reworked, so no jewels. So classes also must be nearing completion, VFX must be added, SFX added, all of the different bells and whistles, the different menus that needed to completely reworking in places, the different systems behind the game, whatever sort of battle pass or ladder or any of these different things, all of these things must be nearing completion if they say they are ready for a closed beta because Reyna didn't want anyone to see an unfinished product. So what does this actually mean? If you forced me to give an answer, it's there in our Discord server and you'd already know. Soon, November is my guess for when the most of us will be playing. And maybe launch even this year. Maybe for once. 
Reynad will stick to his word when he says launch this year, as he has been saying since, what, 2018? The long and short of it is, we're going to be playing sooner rather than later, and I think I finally actually mean that, as this is posted repeatedly in a very official format. Finally, I want to say thanks to Stephen Dewhurst, who was until recently a lead designer on the game. His work and his insights have all been loved by the community, and I can only wish him the greatest of success on any future projects. And I'm excited to see what he brings us. I'll be keeping an eye on this, as he's already said he's maybe working on something in the future. And just from following him on Twitter, I've seen a lot of his work already. And if you want to as well, it's at the Dewhurst over on Twitter. Definitely go give him a follow. In his place, it seems like the return of Ben Shoemaker, who is the source of many of the philosophies that the game is built upon, and it is excellent to see him working with the team again. This can only be good news as we ramp towards the launch of the game. If you are completely out of the loop, do not worry, we have you covered. This video goes over absolutely everything you missed in the last major update that we got to see. So go check that out to be caught up with the game.